morning everyone. Welcome to church this morning. Uh, hopefully people are just gathering at the moment. I've just been talking through a couple of people how to get on to see the live video so hopefully it's working well for you. We've left it running just for a few minutes while people are gathering. Hopefully if you've listened carefully you've just been able to hear some of the birds outside because even though we're filming indoors again from our living room we've opened one of the windows so you can hear the birds that are uh, a tweetling because they're cross because we've not put any peanuts out for them today. I uh, just thought that would be a, a nice background for us as we gather. Today's the second Sunday of Easter. Uh, time's a bit strange at the moment, but in case you've lost track entirely uh, for what day of the week or date it is in the month, it is Sunday, <laughs> second Sunday of Easter. It's the 19th of April and we're going to have a, a short service this morning. And we are going to be still uh, very much in Easter and the service is going to reflect that. And all being well with the technology, we're going to have someone else calling in today to do our first Bible reading when it comes to that. I hope you've been enjoying our picture here on the screen. Some of you might be able to tell what this is from. But this is actually a picture of the Easter garden, I think from last year, that Brenda Wilby had made in St Oswald's Church. And it's a, it's a close-up view of it, so you probably might not have been able to figure out it was in church, but that's actually the pulpit just in the background here. And this is the, the cave that's been made there with the stone rolled away for Easter Sunday. We just thought this would be a, a nice picture for today. If any of you have got any nice pictures from inside St Oswald's or St John's or Woodlands Parish Hall, any good pictures you want us to share at some point in worship, then send them through and we'll see if we can incorporate them. Okay. Welcome and gathering. Thanks for gathering with us this morning. Uh, through Easter, we say this quite a lot, so sometimes I might just say it randomly. And you can see if you can uh, remember the response. So, Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is, he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. I'll say it again in case you weren't quite ready the first time and you've spat out your tea. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He's he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. We meet in the presence of God, who knows our needs, hears our cries, feels our pain and heals our wounds. Amen. We're going to sing a couple of hymns. We've been trying to have a balance of a, a traditional hymn and a more modern hymn in these uh, virtual services, our online services. And this one, Anthea and I were just discussing where the tune comes from. Someone who's much more knowledgeable in all things musical can uh, tell us afterwards where this is from. Uh, we think it might be a French folk tune. And it's going to be now The Green Blade Rises. Now, we've taken a bit of a risk today and left Taffy inside. Here's Taffy, I'm not sure if it's just picked him up. But Taffy isn't always a big fan of the guitar, so we might have Taffy the dog singing with us while we sing. Now the green blade rises. We forgot about you, Taffy. Oh, we're such terrible owners. You just want to be on the telly. <laughs> now the green blade rises. Oh, 
It's quite hard to sing when you try not to laugh at the dog. <laughs> Maybe we'll bring Taffy into the service at the end. goes to go and look at the squirrel in the garden. <laughs> so going to pray and this is a special prayer for the second Sunday of Easter called our colic prayer. Risen Christ for whom no door is locked, no entrance barred, open the doors of our hearts that we may seek the good of others and walk the joyful road of sacrifice and peace to the praise of God the Father. Amen. Now, through the wonders of technology, I've got Anne Whitfield here on speakerphone. We've got a picture, uh, in case you've forgotten what she looks like, here's Dr Anne <laughs> on our screen. And she's going to kindly read for us our first reading, which is from Acts. Okay, Anne, over to you. Are you ready, Anne? <laughs> Just stop listening. Anne, are you ready to do our reading? We love technology. Hello. Hello, Anne. Are you ready for our reading? Yes, I'm hey. ready. <laughs> go on, off we go. Would you like to read to us from Acts? Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Anne. The New Testament reading is from Acts chapter 2, verses 14a and verses 22 to 32. Then Peter stood up with the eleven... Oh. Keep going. <laughs> can we try again? We can hear you. Keep going. Right. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Fellow Israelites, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth was a man accredited by God to you by miracles, wonders and signs, which God did among you through him, as you yourselves know. This man was handed over to you by God's deliberate plan and foreknowledge, and you, with the help of wicked people, put him to death by nailing him to the cross. But God raised him from the dead, freeing him from the agony of death, because it was impossible for death to keep his hold on him. David said about him, I saw the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest in hope, because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead. You will not let your Holy One see decay. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. Fellow Israelites, I can tell you confidently that the patriarch David died and was buried, and his tomb is here to this day. But he was a prophet and knew that God had promised him on oath that he would place one of his descendants on the throne. Seeing what was to come, he spoke of the resurrection of the Messiah that he was not abandoned to the realm of the dead, nor did his body see decay. God has raised this Jesus to life, and we are all witnesses of it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be to God. Thank you very much, Anne. Thank you. We're going to have a reading from the Gospel as well. And this is from John's Gospel, from chapter 20, and it's verses 19 to 31. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together, with the doors locked 
for fear of the leaders. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I am sending you. And with that he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Now, Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas this time was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hands and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Jesus performed many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not recorded in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. Amen. Easter is traditionally a time for celebrating in our churches. There'll be lots of noise, there'll be lots of uh, joyful singing, whether or not we're, we're tuneful is another matter, but lots of joyful singing, uh, lots of celebrating, lots of bright colours around. We would have been getting ready to have our Cherry Blossom Festival at St Oswald's Church and the blossoms out at the moment, so it's possible it might have all gone by next weekend when we're, uh, we were due to have the festival anyway. Uh, but it's a time for celebrating, a time for doing different things, for, for celebrating the life around us and for celebrating the life that we have through Jesus from Easter, that first Easter when that stone was rolled back from the tomb. This year's very different, so whilst Easter itself is still a time for celebrating, we're all still indoors, behind locked doors, just as those disciples were in those first days after Jesus' death and after his resurrection. This is one of my favourite passages from the Bible, actually, where Jesus comes and stands among them, even though the doors are locked. And it's a reminder to all of us that even though we are all behind locked doors, uh, we are all at home, we're all apart. And yet, thanks to our technology, we're able to still be together and still be supporting each other. Jesus comes and meets with us here in our homes, as he did with the disciples when they first started gathering in their homes. He meets with us, whether we're on our own, there's no one else with us, whether there's other members of our family here. Jesus comes through those locked doors and he says, peace be with you. And this week it's really important for us to remember that whatever we're facing, whatever the anxieties are that are surrounding us at the moment, and there is a lot of things for us to be anxious about, our world is quite a frightening place at the moment, that God comes Jesus comes despite our locked doors and he is with us wherever we are and says, peace be with you. And he says it more than once to the disciples. He says it several times. He even comes back again because Thomas was missing the first time and didn't believe what the others had told him. And he comes again and says, peace be with you. And may that be our experience at the moment that Jesus comes and meets with us wherever we are. Whatever it is that we're doing, he comes and meets with us in our homes, despite our locked doors, and says, peace be with you. And let's see how we can share that peace with each other. Even though we're not physically together, we can still pray for peace to be with each one of us at this time. Amen. Anthony's going to lead us in some prayers. Good morning everyone. Morning. If you would like to join in with our intercessions as we go through, the response is just there on the screen. 
So when I say the words, Lord, hear us, you can join in by responding, Lord, graciously hear us. And so let us pray to God, who alone makes us dwell in safety. Gracious God, when we find ourselves huddling in the locked rooms of our hearts, you come, Spirit of Hope, to breathe peace upon us, to surround us with hope. God in community, holy three in one, you remind us we are never apart from you. And so we pray for all who are affected by coronavirus, through illness or isolation or anxiety, that they may find relief and recovery. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who are guiding our nation at this time and shaping national policies, that they may make wise decisions. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For health workers, carers and medical researchers, that through their skills and insights, many will be restored to health. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the vulnerable and fearful, for the gravely ill and the dying, that they may know your comfort and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And so we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Taffy's been joining in our prayers. We're going to conclude our prayers with the Lord, the Lord's Prayer. So as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. I thought it would be fitting to share the peace with each other this morning, uh, given our, our gospel reading. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then they were glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia, the peace of the risen Christ be always with you. And also with you. Alleluia. Peace be with all of you. Now, we always have a few little things to share with you. Uh, just a few notices. First of all, hope you're all keeping safe and doing well, staying at home as much as possible. Looks like we're going to have some sunshine this week, so I hope you're able to enjoy a bit of that outdoors safely. Uh, always keeping our appropriate distance uh, apart from each other. We're obviously going to be apart for a bit longer. We don't know how long that's going to be. Uh, it could be quite a few weeks yet before we're able to return to meeting together physically uh, and able to, to see loved ones more, more closely as well who aren't living with us. Uh, so we are in this for a bit of a long haul, I think, really. So do keep in touch with each other. Keep in touch with us through Facebook or through uh, through emails, phones... Uh, you can try and send a pigeon if you happen to, to have one that's good at sending posts. Just stay in touch with each other. Um, if we can do anything for you, let us know. You're all in our prayers, mine and Anthea's prayers. I know lots of you are praying for us as well, and we really appreciate that. If there's any people in particular who you'd like us to pray for by name in our prayers, please let us know. Send us a message, get in touch in whatever way you prefer, uh, and we'll make sure that we are praying for them specifically as well as well as for, for all of you and for all our communities in Methley, Alton, Woodlesford, uh, wider out in Rothwell, across Leeds and Wakefield, and we're praying for the whole country and for the world as well, because we're all in this together and we're all affected by the coronavirus uh, and by the uh, the effects of the lockdown that this pandemic is causing. 
uh, we are going to try something a bit different this week through the wonders of technology we're going to try and have a virtual coffee morning at some point this week so uh, this is a new thing for us but it can work quite well so we have to do this through email invitations so we will we can't put it publicly on Facebook so that's not a safe way to do it so we'll send it out to those we have emails for um, if there's someone else who uh, would like to be part of that but we maybe don't have your email address try and try and get hold of us through Facebook and we can organize that we'll see how many people are interested when we start sending out the invitation tomorrow if there's big numbers then we'll have more than one so it's a bit more manageable and we'll do this through uh, perhaps something called Zoom, which is like a video platform. Lots of you have discovered the joys of Zoom. There are other things as well. So we're just looking at which one might work best so that we can, if you have a video on your mobile, so we can see each other while we're talking. Um, if you don't have video, you can still talk to each other and hear everybody's voices. And the idea is that we just get together with a beverage of your choice uh, at the time to be determined, probably on Wednesday or Thursday this coming week. Um, and we just have a chat and see how everybody's doing and if there's anything we can help you with or anything that people need. So keep an eye out for that coming uh, this coming week. Um, anything else I should be mentioning? I don't think so. But if you've got any pictures of Easter gardens or you've just been enjoying the blossom out and about, then send us some pictures and we'll share those on Facebook as well. OK, we're going to sing again this one is a more modern hymn. Oops, this is called This is called How Sarah Breaks the Television with her guitar. I think it's fine. <laughs> this is called In Christ Alone. Um, I think we've sung this in both churches a couple of times. If it's new to you, I'm sure that you'll very soon pick it up. In Christ Alone, my hope is found. In Christ alone my hope is found He is my light, my strength, my song This cornerstone, this solid ground is drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are still, when striving cease. My comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone,
said that we put this sentence in a few times. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He's he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. A blessing for all of you. God the Father, by whose love Christ was raised from the dead, open to you who believe the gates of everlasting life. Amen. God the Son, who in bursting from the grave has won a glorious victory, give you joy as you share the Easter faith. Amen. And God the Holy Spirit, who filled the disciples with the life of the risen Lord, empower you and fill you with Christ's peace. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and all those whom you love now and always. Amen. I'm going to bring Taffy to come and say goodbye to you all as well. Come here, Taff. Come here. Oh, good boy. Come and say goodbye. <laughs> Taffy's very confused by why we rearrange our living room every Sunday morning, aren't you, Taffy? When all you want to do is just sit down on somebody's knee and have a nap or bark at squirrels. <laughs> Taffy's enjoyed being part of our service today. So if we come in this way, both of us, and we'll all say um, goodbye to everyone. And with the risen life of Christ within you, go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia. 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 <laughs> Bye. I'll see you again next week. Take care, everyone, and God bless.